A lot of you were asking me like, you know, how was trade school? What is it like? So I'm making this video today so you guys can see and get a firsthand view of what my trade school or, you know, what your trade school may look like, you know, because a lot of people, it's hard to, to imagine exactly like how school is going to be, you know, you've never been to, you know, an HVAC school or a trade school. So I'm here to show you guys what it's like at a trade school. So I'm here. This is NTI, my trade school, in Henderson, Nevada, not too far from Las Vegas if you're here. Before I get started with this video, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there, because I know y'all gonna like this video. It's your boy Young HVAC. Thanks for tuning in. So we got, this is the wall of fame right here. Let's see if we can find me. Oh, here we go. Right <laughs> A list of jobs on the wall. So job placement, if you guys were wondering. I'm gonna take you guys into lab one. So in our lab, you can see freezers, ice machines, and some compressors right there. We got scrolls and reciprocating compressors. So firsthand in trade school, you get to see all of this cool stuff, even though you don't know what it is. Here we have some troubleshooting boards. So all of these components represent different components on air conditioning systems and they're represented with lights. So when you cut it on, it will be a different sequence of different sequence of lights and you have to figure out what the problem is. This was really helpful. This was really helpful for me. Here's a thermostat right there and it simulates an actual, you know, air conditioning environment. Got a coil there at the bottom, an inducer motor. We're just getting started. So, got a couple meters for you to use. Got a mini split. Well, this is more than a mini split. This is like, it's like double almost Mitsubishi. We have addict simulations here. You can see that one's inside of a glass and has a UV light in there. And then inside the lab, there's unit setups. So you got cages and meters and clamps, wire strippers, etc. So you guys can practice on your units as if you were out in the field. It's so convenient, you have indoor and outdoor right beside each other so you can see how they work and get a better understanding. So these are all 14 sieves right now. And then there's package units in the middle. I actually didn't have these when I was there. These look like Yorks, but package units and just different kind of units. And this is lab one, guys. Different kind of units you can work on. You see they're open and these are live units. They actually work. So you guys will be practicing at your trade school. You got sacrometers, all the tools you need to practice and become wonderful technicians you'll find in your you'll you'll have in your trade school 
Hopefully your trade school will be as good as mine, but you know, we got some high quality equipment here. Good men, a, a man, a brand, but you know, really good for learning. We have duck simulations, duct simulations, and you know, different. models you know they're open you get a chance to see what the coils look like because often in the field it's kind of hard to get to them you know you get to see close up you know defrost boards and transformers and inducer motors and things like that and filter high efficiency filters you get to actually see you know metering devices you get to see the inside of the package units and capacitors and blowers, you know? So you get to see a lot of this stuff inside firsthand. And then what my school does is they like to leave this door down to kind of simulate how warm or how hot it may be when you're in an attic working. This is lab two right here, my people. This is where I spent most of my time. As you can see, there's a bunch of different blower motors, blower housings, a lot of equipment here. And hopefully your school has the same amount of equipment. We got refrigerant tanks and everything. Up here is probably one of the coolest parts about this school but your trade school may have it too. There's a simulation of an attic right here. So this is supposed to represent an attic space. Gauges for us to use and all the proper tools. This looks like a brazing station or, you know, where you can work on cutting your copper and, you know, getting right. Then there's more units that you can work on more units to work on and extra copper for when it's brazen time. You actually get to use the fire. Those are acetylene oxygen tanks right there. More addict. Just a whole bunch of cool stuff for, for you. Trade school is a wonderful experience. Everybody should go. Okay, so I just showed you guys two different labs right just there. to show you guys, you know, what it's like to be at a trade school, you know? I'm making this video because I hope I can inspire somebody to attend a trade school, you know? College, I tried college and it really wasn't for me, but this, this was my thing. I really had fun at trade school and I'm telling you, you want to go to trade school. If it's for you, you know what I mean? Give it a shot. Because you never know what could change your life. It's your boy Young HVAC. Back with another video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Young HVAC. And I just showed you guys what it's like to be at a trade school. You know, what to expect. What kind of things you might see at your local trade school. Thank right. you guys. You bet. Oh, thank you.